This video is sponsored by iFixit. I recently found out that there's a store in Alabama called the Unclaimed Baggage Center. The Unclaimed Baggage Center is a store that buys all of the unclaimed baggage from all the airlines, a lot of the buses, and some other places in the United States. I went to their website the other day and found a bunch of video games and also some handheld game consoles. And since this store sells most of its stuff at a pretty good discount, I decided to buy some and review it on my channel for you. So I bought some video games, I bought a Nintendo 3DS, and I bought a Nintendo Switch for $249, which at the time of this filming is a great deal. All of these items supposedly work, so I'm gonna put it to the test, and then I'm gonna take apart the Nintendo Switch and the 3DS and see what they look like on the inside. Let's do this. Wow, they did pretty amazing packaging. They got their own sticker. They wrapped it in this like tissue paper and then bubble wrap on top of that. That's actually amazing packaging. I'm super impressed. So we've got Rocket League, Minecraft, and Super Smash Bros. So I'll be taking a look at these more once we get the Nintendo Switch unboxed and checked out. But now it's time to move on to the 3DS. Got the same cool packaging and sticker right there. And it is also packed really well in bubble wrap. It even comes with a charger, which is super cool. It actually looks like a brand new charger. It's cool. It does have a few scratches on the outside, which I would expect. Got some sticker residue here. Let's open it up and see if it turns on. Got a decently deep scratch right up at the top here. And here we go. Let's see if it's been Reset to factory settings, and it has. I'm gonna set this up real quick, they'll test the game in it, and then I'm gonna take off the back cover and just check out the motherboard and see if there's any damage or see what that looks like. So this Nintendo Switch new 3DS XL is all working good. I'm gonna test the game in it. I did pay $79 for this, which is actually a pretty decent deal. Let's see if the game plays. And there we go. Game comes up on the screen like it should. I'm gonna take the bottom cover off and just take a look at this motherboard and see if there's any indication of any damages. Then we'll move on to the Nintendo Switch. For this repair, as with basically all of my repairs, I'll be using an iFixit ProTech Toolkit. The ProTech Toolkit has a bit and driver set that has basically any bit that you need to get into most any system. It also has all of these tools, as well as some pry tools, a suction cup, and an ESD strap. Not that I ever use that, but it's there. I highly recommend iFixit tools, as they're very, very good quality, and they have a great warranty. I've used iFixit tools basically the entire time that I ran my repair business, and with pretty much any device I take apart on my YouTube channel. If you would like to get some iFixit tools for yourself, go to ifixit.com slash tronicsfix for $10 off your order of $50 or more. Now I'm just gonna fix this little sticky problem right here. So I'm just taking some isopropyl alcohol, rolling a bunch on with my Q-tip, saturating the area with it. Then I'm just gonna go through and go in circles and keep going until I get all of that sticky residue off. And there we go, that is looking basically new. There are some scratches over here, probably from someone trying to remove that. No sign of any liquid damage or anything so far. And taking a look at the motherboard, this motherboard is actually super clean. There is no evidence of any sign of liquid or any problems at all on this motherboard. I'm gonna get this all put back together, then we'll move on to the Nintendo Switch. And we have very consistent packaging, although no sticker on this one. The sticker must be on the other side. And, oh, nope, they just, oh, here we go. I did get a sticker. That's cool. Okay, so this must be the Switch, and it actually does come with a charger. I don't think I even knew that, so that's cool. I'm definitely impressed with their packaging. They even have branded packaging for this envelope. 
Let's uh, take a look at this charger first. Okay, so this says compatible with Switch. This is an unbranded charger and one that I will not be using. I always recommend to only use the official Nintendo Switch chargers because these aftermarket chargers can put too much voltage into the Switch and cause components to burn out. Okay, here it is. We got the neon Joy-Cons. There's definitely a good amount of scratches on the screen, which I mean, I expect with a used system. Same, quite a few scratches, but overall, I would definitely consider it used condition. Okay, good news so far. Okay, and here we go. Everything looks good so far. I'm gonna get this set up, then I'm gonna test some games in it, and then I'm gonna take the back cover off and check out the motherboard and replace the thermal paste. So everything with the Switch has set up fine so far. I'm gonna try one of these games I bought. Let's try Rocket League and see if that installs and plays. And there we go. So Rocket League definitely works on this Nintendo Switch, so everything so far is working good. But now it's time for everyone's favorite part. I'm gonna take it apart. Okay, so far it looks really clean inside. Got some dust here, which is normal. Fan looks good so far. I do need to take off this metal plate though. Then we can get a real good look at the motherboard and check out that thermal paste as well. All right, and here we go. Got some thermal paste there. Let's look at the inside. And just looking at everything, it actually all looks really, really good. This is another one that just looks super clean inside. I'm going to replace this thermal paste, then we'll get it back together. Always important to put in the perfect amount of thermal paste. So the inside of this Nintendo Switch looks really good. I see absolutely no problems and it is super clean inside. I gotta say that I'm very impressed with unclaimed baggage. It's sort of like eBay, except for better in every way. Once again, this is not sponsored by unclaimed baggage, but I do highly recommend their products that I've seen so far and they do have pretty good prices. If you go on there right now, every once in a while, you can find a used Nintendo Switch for a decent price. I got this one for $2.49, so go check it out and see if you can nab one for yourself. Thank you again to iFixit for sponsoring this video. Thank you for watching, and I hope you have a good one.